Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Hoven of Ramos Law and your host of Health Matters. Today, I want to talk about what to do if you've been injured while you're pregnant. Trauma through pregnancy can be very complicated if it's certain times. We're going to talk about it right now. For anyone that's ever been pregnant and then gotten in any kind of a trauma, whether it's an accident, a fall, any kind of thing where they get injured, it can be a nightmare. And of course, our first reaction is always, how's the baby? I want to make sure to take care of the baby. But it also can affect how you respond in the long term. So check this out. There are many traumas that can happen. Just like if you're not pregnant, anything can happen that can cause trauma if you are pregnant. And the difference being, depending on where you're at in the pregnancy, that trauma can have a direct impact on how things are going in the process of that baby developing and ultimately how that baby gets delivered. So for example, on the very first parts of pregnancy in that first trimester, we worry about if the trauma is too great, could the baby have not enough um, nutrients because something gets damaged or something gets, you know, uh, we'll call it cut off so that the baby now is literally not getting enough support from the inside and that can cause an issue. And that can happen not only physically, but it can also happen mentally and emotionally. Imagine going through a horrific car crash, let's say, where you're reliving it again and again, and just the mental stress and the emotional trauma of that situation causes so much stress on the system that the body starts malfunctioning and that could affect the baby. So regardless of the stage of pregnancy, there can be issues that we need to address. So we're gonna start there with any issue that you may have from a trauma, we have to address the mental, emotional, and psychological components. Are you okay in your, in your head space, in your mind space? If so, that's great. If you feel anxious, if you are having nightmares, if you're having anxiety, depression after a trauma that you didn't have before with pregnancy, it's imperative that you go see someone about that and that you work through that for not only your health, but for the health of the developing child as well. Now, what if you happen to slip on the ice? It's you know winter time. What if you happen to slip on the ice and fall and hit your tailbone? Well, you know what? If you fall and hurt your back and hit your tailbone, if your pregnancy is in the middle to late stages, we worry about now your posture and how that's gonna work because you're gonna start getting more of your frontal belly moving forward. That puts stress on the ligaments and on the, the tissues. Now add a trauma to that. It can be very hard to take care of, but we have to be careful because with people who are pregnant, with women who are pregnant, we, don't, we can't just give them any kind of medicine. We have to pay attention to see what the medicine that the person might get would do if it was involved and would cross what's called the placental barrier and get to the baby. So all of these things need to be really carefully taken into account. That's why from my perspective, I love to try conservative care first on trauma in pregnancy. And what does that look like? As long as there's no open wounds that need care or broken bones, if it's aches and pains from some sort of trauma, I love first something called kinesio taping. And kinesio taping, you can look it up online. There's a lot of companies that do it. But putting tape over areas that have been injured tells the brain, hey, you know what? I think everything's okay. The stress isn't that bad. And so the brain, it down regulates or it makes less pain signals go to the area of pain and that can help the body as well. Even with taping, I've taped pregnant women before, taking them their tummies and strapping and supporting them with tape from their tummies all the way over their shoulders to give them a, a relief in their posture, which then relieves the stress on the area that may be injured. So besides taping, I love things like gentle massage and you have to make sure that you understand if you're pregnant past a certain point, you probably can't lay on your stomach unless it's a specially designed table. So you would want that provider doing the, the soft tissue work to take into account posture. Would they do that seated? Would they do it laying on your side? How would that work out? But also chiropractic care and acupuncture are great for this kind of treatment. For someone who's pregnant, you can get great response with conservative care from that perspective. Physical therapists are awesome as well as they're gonna help with getting postural muscle strengthened, help loosen muscles that have been tightened up by trauma from the body reacting to splint and try to hold that posture as well. So there's a combination of things that can be done. And the point of this video is to tell you, if you do experience a trauma while you're pregnant, it's not something that you should wait on. It's something that you should go get evaluated by a provider who's comfortable treating pregnant patients who've gone under trauma. Now, if you have more questions about this, please feel free to email me. My email is jim at ramoslaw.com. 
If you have other things that you'd like us to talk about, videos you'd like us to do, please just send me an email and we'll be glad to put it on the list. But of course, the main thing for this video is for you to remember, your health matters.